Good morning guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to lay out a foundation, dig some pier holes. This video is going to be basically how I lay out and get a square foundation and elevation. Maybe I can show you all of it. Maybe you can understand it. I have the uh, Stabila LA-180 which helps, throws me a, a, a laser beam square to each other, one parallel and then straight across. Saves me from the the A squared plus B squared equals C squared doing the math. I can just pull my measurements of the parallel of my building. So this building is gonna be 60 wide, I think 120 foot long. I'm gonna pull two strings, 60 foot apart from each other. Then I'll get my square across. A big deal with laying out a foundation is getting it square and getting it level. If these two things doesn't happen in the foundation, the rest of the building, the rest of the project, will will show up the unsquareness of the foundation and then each trade gets blamed for a bad job because it all started with the foundation not being square so get that get the foundation very square that way from then on the build goes perfectly you can get everything plumb level and it all looks good if you're new here i'm frederick i'm a steel building contractor i hope you enjoy the video Please subscribe. Remember to hit that notification bell. YouTube says that only 10% uh, of my subscribers are getting notified when I load a video. Then you won't know, so make sure you hit that notification bell, turn on your notification settings in, in the YouTube app. If you wanna know about these tools that we used, I'll leave some links down in the description below. That way, if uh, you're interested in using them or purchasing them, purchasing them, use those links. That'll help out the channel, help out me help us make some more videos like this let's build it wanted to square it with anything on the property he said no this is where he wants it so what we're doing is pulling strings from flag to flag and then we're gonna you know they just lay it out to eyeball or they use a hundred foot measuring tape don't get it exact just stab them down in the ground enough for them to haul the new dirt in but what we're gonna do is we we pulled our strings on each side of the long side walls which is 120 foot long we're getting those parallel and we're making sure they're exactly 60 foot apart. That is what this building is laid out to be. So that's exactly what our foundation is. That is exactly what we call the steel line when we, when we do a steel building. Now that we got our lines pulled, we're gonna take the laser and we're gonna shoot an elevation on this dirt, figure out what we got to see where we wanna start our elevation. So that sets my elevation and then I've got 18 inches of travel here that I can find the difference when I go to my other four corners. So I want to be as close to the to the new dirt as I can with my elevation because we're going to have some pretty big piers on this and we don't want that sharp edge of the concrete sticking out in the bay and he catches it with one of his tractor tires and cut them. Now I'm going to shoot that elevation. That'll give me a starting point. I'll find my elevation, pull my strings there, and get them all level. So what I've found is this this is the highest corner of my dirt. And we have they have hauled in new dirt in the back and on this west side. What I'm gonna do is bring my string up to my starting point at this corner, level off of that, and that's what I'll have to build the piers up to. So we're gonna get all of our lines 
on our elevation mark now that we determine our elevation and then we'll go back and check that it still measures 60 feet from our string to the other side make sure they're parallel with each other and then we'll go back and get our square you know the drill big huge like subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell flag that's that's where a customer wants to the corner of the building but we run our strings past so when we dig that hole the stop doesn't fall in the hole we have to re-pull our strings Puppy likes to chew up string. <laughs> Seems like they all want to do that. Mark this one. <laughs> right, so right here I got the Stabila LA-180. And what that does is shoots a, a line here and then it comes another one out 90 degrees and that'll get my square. As you can see here in the background, the customer has it flagged out here. So we measured, we've got our distance between our strings the way we want them. They're parallel to each other. So I'm gonna set a mark right there on my string. This shoots a laser out of here, directly down. I'll put that on my dot. Then with my remote, this is Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Then I'll, I'll go down the string, maybe halfway at least. I'll set it up with my mark here. This is my laser. You can see the indentions on the laser. And then this kind of moves in that little groove there. So then I'll set my 180 or my 180 degree on top. As you can see there, this will, this will cut the shoot a line with those laser beams. And then this one, have this one shoot over to the, the west side of the building. This is the southeast corner, and we're building north and west. So I've made my mark here. Now I'm gonna set my laser beam up to... I don't know if we can see this, but if you can see the red line on my finger, and I'm, I just easily slide that over so I get that red line right on my dot. And then this LA-180 levels itself and you can hear it moving. I don't know if you can hear that in the video, but I've got that laser right on that dot. You see it's right on the edge of my black dot. So now I'm level. This has a five degree range of, of finding my Squareness. So I've got the stability. This is the power on, and then I'll mash this button, and, it, and the laser will find my squareness. I'll actually hold it in this formation, and I'll bring it till it goes to zero. Hold it right on that line. And these are to manually adjust it that I never use, and then this is self explanatory so you can get the laser beam tighter. And I want it as tight as I can be. So right here you got the mark spread apart. You got the mark spread apart, but I'll hit that. And you see they get closer together. And that defines how precise you are. Now I will move this. All right. <clears throat> so it's showing my laser, my string is here. It's showing it off. So I want to set it up. I'm gonna hold these crosshairs down until this blinks three times. Now the laser will start moving. Now it's just checking itself. And let that blink twice. Just self check it. See, you heard that. That double beat. Now we're on. See if I get out here.
Now that I checked it in the middle of the string, I'm just gonna go all the way to the other end, just make sure I'm exactly where I wanna be. Now that I've established that my laser is straight with this line, then this laser will shoot a square line to the other side. I'll go over there and mark that. I've got a square. No, no, no cross measuring. A lot, a lot simpler, especially if you're by yourself. An easy layout. And it also throws a level line, so I can use it for elevation but it's not a 360 laser, which sucks. I don't know why they couldn't make that. So I can use it for elevation if I need to and not have to use the other laser. Now I've established my mark here. I go over there, get my square, establish my mark there. And then I measure off these two corners the same distance to where each one of my piers are. Go down through there and mark my measurements with a, my laser versus using a measuring tape. But in my last video, I showed how we elevated the piers and used the laser versus using the string. The string's just kind of a guide to set your forms, set them high. Then you come back with the laser, put on top of your form board, and use a hammer, tap it down. You know, you start with a, maybe an eighth inch taller than what you need with the string because that string may sag in this 120 feet set your pier box on that put your laser and then just tap tap your stops down until they set perfectly with the laser that way we know every one of them is the same elevation watch the other video i leave the car here for how we elevated our got an elevation on our piers tore up we're gonna cut it a foot i'm measuring 15 foot intervals so i'll mark 16 31 46 and so on. <laughs> 